Hi, welcome to the latest episode of Lifting the Lid. My name is Andy Ely. I'm a senior funeral director with G. Seller Independent Funeral Directors, and we've been serving bereaved families since 1910. And I'm sure you're well aware there's lots and lots of different myths, misconceptions, and taboos around the funeral profession and what goes on. Uh, so we decided to put this series of podcasts together to try and dispel some of those myths and, of course, answer any questions that you have. So please do like, share and subscribe and send those questions. Send them to liftingthelid at gseller.co.uk and we will do our absolute best to answer them for you. It genuinely is our family caring for your family. So I'm joined today by my co-host Joe. Again, hello Joe, you alright? Hello, yep, good afternoon. Brilliant. So we're going to be talking about... Um, 15 things that you can do with cremated remains. Now, as we go through this list here, you will realise that we are perhaps more familiar with some than others. But in all honesty, I'd love for someone, a family, to come in and ask about some of these. <laughs> there's some there's tremendous you. ideas here. So we're going to kind of, to a fashion, work our way through this list. Um, and we, we have had some experience, haven't we? So yeah, well, well, let's, let's, begin. Like, let's stop talking. Let's, let's like people don't count. Um, yeah, just, okay. <laughs> we're, we're trying to yeah. get 15. It might be 14 and a half, but we go <laughs> for it. So, interment of a, in a burial ground, that, that's kind of an obvious one, isn't it, really? Yeah, so either a cemetery or churchyard, um, you get permission to do so, especially in a churchyard if there's still space. Um, but yeah, it's very simple, of course, with any of these, talk to a funeral director that you know, we can organise that with local authority um, in some sort of casket, um, you know, whether that's a wooden casket or a, a cardboard container of some sort. Or degradable, yeah. Or as I had once in a cemetery, um, the chap loved ice cream he was interred in a neapolitan ice cream tub absolutely brilliant so not biodegradable at all no absolutely <laughs> not wow um, but so they allowed it was the important well, thing that's good. so yeah there, there, there is the paper trail there that we have to have of course and usually there's a fee isn't there as well it'd be yeah. worth mentioning that yeah. um and of course there's loose interment so it doesn't necessarily have to it was what we call under turf isn't it so the hole yeah. is prepared and and we scatter cremated remains directly into the hole and then covered over so while you're talking about scattering of course another one um scattering different places uh, so whether it's favorite location or burial ground although i suppose we should say favorite location um i mean strictly speaking letter of law you, you should only scatter someone when you've got the landowner's permission um or if it's in an authority such as a cemetery or a churchyard absolutely um, absolutely we don't want this uh, kind of great escape type Sneaking people up the trails, <laughs> like no, no. yeah, it just doesn't seem quite appropriate to do that, and and it's it's something we're not supposed to do. So, um, yeah, I mean, favourite location, of course, there can be all sorts of places. I, I've I've laid people to rest on on their favourite green on a golf course, uh, a favourite location in 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 perhaps a, a national park. You know, uh, with permission, of course, with permission, yeah, always yeah. with permission. Um, and certainly, when we're walking about, sometimes we see people at rest that. There's blatantly been no permission. Yeah, I've been walking through, say, Burbage Common, and I've seen them um, there, um, where you're never going to get permission to do. Yeah. But I understand why, um, you know, but, uh, but yeah, strictly speaking, you know, trying to stick to somewhere. And just, you know, it's worth recording where somebody is scattered just for a record as well, because, of yeah, course, paper trail. people yeah. do family trees um, years down the line. Um, yeah, then they say, especially if you have decided to go and scatter in Burbage Common, which, of course, we don't endorse. But um, if you have done that, then no one's ever going to know where they are because you never would have handed any paperwork in for it. So yeah, worth just making a note as to where somebody is. So we don't have to go to play. We, we can we can have a tribute. We can have a garden tribute at home. Yep. Uh, so that can be in, in your back garden. You can have a, an urn or perhaps a bench and we can have a cremated remain section in, in the leg of a bench. Yeah. Um, uh, perhaps a, 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 a bars, you know, a garden type bars. Had a sundial before. Sundial, sundial brilliant. Yeah. Yep. And at home, of course... Inside the house, so cremated remains container, um, decorative urn, casket, some decorative urn. Yeah. lots and lots and lots of different options there, isn't there? Um, including, of course, photo frames. So you can get specific urns where the cremated remains go in sort of the stand for the frame, but then you know you've got the the, the actual picture frame in front of it. Yeah, um, so it's all so it's the picture in, of so. the loved one there, and that can sit on a mantelpiece yeah. or. Uh, on a display cabinet or something. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's brilliant. And jewellery, I mean, uh, that rolls, rolls quite nicely onto jewellery, that that wanting to keep your loved one with you. Mm. Um, so we can, we can offer all sorts of um, small kind of lockets, aren't they? And you open and put a little bit of cremated remains in there, um, seal up and, and keep them with you. There's... Uh, We've got a showroom uh, for jewellery, of course. So, um, you know, if Absolutely. people want to come and see, then um, we can actually show them the different items. I mean, there's jewellery in there, but there's also, you know, 
candle holders, tea light holders, you know, things like that. So another option, uh, you know, should people want to um, transfer a small amount of cremated remains into them. Of course, you can't get a whole person's cremated remains in these things, but, you know, a, a token amount. I think the showroom also, it, it, we have um, glass pieces in there, glassware. So it can mm. be a sculpture or perhaps a, a paperweight yep. and jewellery, of course, that can be made out of glass as well. So, yes. you know, the cremated remains made into glass or, or diamonds. There's, you know, all sorts of different things that we can do for jewellery. Yep. Um, of course, if you've got your own kind of item of jewellery that you just want to keep your loved one or piece of your loved one with you, there's, there's nothing to say you can't have a... A pill container or something like that you know yeah why not you know absolutely absolutely memory bears as well i mean this is something so usually a little pocket in the back of the memory bear um, and then of course you can you can kind of cuddle your loved one i guess in that, in that respect yeah re- really horribly of course but quite often with uh, sort of children's cremated remains uh, memory bears can be quite a nice thing can't it? Um, yeah you know, and they can be it. made as well from um your loved one's clothing so mm. that the whole piece can be your loved ones, yeah. absolutely yeah. personalised. Yeah. Some great examples of that. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I think we're going to, we, we, we're sort of, um, I can see the look you just give me because just I, the next one on the list <laughs> is... Um, <laughs> so this so is a bit different, yeah. Um, firework. Firework, yeah, absolutely. So it's an option. Um, <laughs> you can be turned into a firework and rocket it <laughs> yeah. up. Um, um, brilliant. Never had any experience in it, but yeah, <laughs> no. it's not the same with tattoos as well. That's something... Another option there that we, we can have, um, you know, as I said at the beginning, if this is something I'm not familiar with, I'd love for someone to come in and we find out exactly what you're doing, how you go about doing it. These things are possible. I mean, uh, you know, living in the landlocked Midlands, burial at sea, you can, you can take your uh, cremated remains and be uh, uh, sort of interred in the sea there. Yeah, so there's certain rules around that, isn't there? We They have to be in certain locations if we were to do an actual burial yep. um, of a cremated remains casket it has to be a certain weight it has to have certain holes drilled in it yeah. and it has to be so far away from the um from the shore from the shore that's yeah. it that's the word yeah. um cremated remains of course scattering you can in theory do that off your own back couldn't you i guess yeah 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 um so next one spitfire aircraft yeah so we've, we've actually researched this a little bit so yeah this is this is an option so you can you can go and spend the day and travel in a, a spitfire um and scatter your loved ones cremated remains from the spitfire which you know for uh, someone perhaps military historian or yeah. someone into military aircraft i think that's a phenomenal it'd be great yeah, great great yeah yeah, yeah absolutely experience. brilliant brilliant experience all around that one i think i've mentioned the glass uh, glass pieces there um Space. <laughs> so cremated remains can go into space. And I've actually seen a company here. They they have um, like a, I think it's kind of like a weather balloon. Um, and it, you, you have a receptacle underneath. And it's filmed as well. So it's a great idea. Mm. Um, and the weather balloon goes up to the edge of space. And then you, you, you can press a button down on the earth. Mm. And it opens the canister and the cremated remains are spread like that. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great idea. And for, especially where you start from interment in a burial ground or cemetery, and then you We've do some, something, space, something yeah. diverse as having them sent into space is, is mad, isn't it? It's, it's brilliant. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic idea, really. I have no idea how much something like that would cost. No. I imagine that's quite, quite a, a substantial figure, imagine, yeah. yeah. But the final one, now I think we've got 15. I think this will make it 15. Yeah, okay. So this is a bio urn, isn't it? Mm. Um, so quite essentially yeah, yeah planted planted <laughs> yeah, yeah tree so cremated growth. remains mixed yeah. with uh sort of i don't know i'm, I'm not in, in, into planting flowers or no, I'm too <laughs> much, aren't you? No, no. <laughs> so we're planted with some kind of compost um and, and yeah, ultimately tree grows a you, tree so. grows from there yeah absolutely brilliant and of course in a similar sort of fashion you can have a um a grow a rose bush around perhaps where you scatter cremated remains as well if it's in your garden or something on those sort of lines can't you so yeah yeah something we need to be careful of though you know um cremated remains can have an effect on the environment so yeah as, as we can't really stress enough i know we've sort of had a bit of a joke about what we can do but you know it's really important that we have permission from yeah. the relevant people to to make this happen and we're not affecting the nature of natural around a natural environment around us agreed Brilliant. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Right, great. Thank you. I think that um, that draws this episode of Lifting the Lid to a close. 
Um, if you genuinely, seriously do like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please email them to liftingthelid at gseller.co.uk. Thank you and we'll see you next time.